Hi, this is Pratik from Techistop, and today in this video, we'll be discussing about Terraform validate and format command. So, uh, this would be the agenda for today's uh, video. So, this would be first we'll be discussing about Terraform validate command and its options, and what would be the validate command output, and then then we'll we'll move to Terraform format command and its options and a simple demo. So let's get started. So this is the uh, syntax, so Terraform validate and some of the options which might be available. So this is hyphen JSON and hyphen no color. So I'll, I'll show you how, how these uh, options can be applied and what uh, is the effect of these options on the validate command. Then there's a format command, uh, Terraform FMT and options which defines, which we define and then these options are hyphen diff, which basically shows the difference between the formatted. Uh, so, so there would be a file which might have some formatting issues. So, what would the difference between the formatted file and the unformatted file? And hyphen check basically checks whether the formatted file, like the file, is pretty is properly formatted or not. And it will give you a list of uh, files which are not formatted in your current directory. And then there is a hyphen recursive, which basically instructs the format command to iteratively, recursively check all the files in the subdirectories as well, and not only the current working directory. Okay. So let's move to the Visual Studio. So this is the same file which we used in a previous video uh, in our apply command demo. Uh, so we'll use the same file to show you the demo and the options related to validate and the format command. So let's spin up our terminal. So uh, for the validate command, if say if I validate it, okay, I wrote it incorrectly. Validate. So it says success. So the configuration is valid. There's nothing wrong with the configuration. But say if I uh, deliberately uh, write the keywords incorrectly, okay. Even though the uh, the editor itself shows the error, okay. But uh, you know, in order to demonstrate how Terraform validate will validate it, so it shows you the error. So it 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 scans the entire configuration file and, and gives you the line numbers where the error is there. So for the first one, it says the block of the type required provider are not expected here. Did you mean this one? So it has clearly mentioned uh, what 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 you might your intention might be to so which block you might be referring to, but you have named it incorrectly. Okay. So uh, or to like to dis to describe or to demo uh, more errors, whatever errors. If say, if I don't mention the source, will it give an error? No, it doesn't give an error. So the source is not uh, the source is not the uh, required attribute. So uh, if say if I don't want it to be in color. I'll simply say no color. It will give you, so if you, if you see the difference, the color encoding is not there. So it shows error in red, but it is now in black and white. And if say Terraform validate, and if I say if I instruct it to uh, give the output in JSON format, so it will give this in the JSON format. So let's copy this. These might be used for the uh, automation purposes. So let's copy this and copy it into language JSON. Okay. So we'll quickly go through it. So it, it basically defines your format version. So there, it, it, there might be different versions of this uh, JSON format, which Terraform might be upgrading. And so it clearly mentions what format it basically uh, it, it is being, which version is being used. So valid means whether the configuration was valid or not. So it, it has shown it as false. 
then we have error count how many errors were there how many warnings are there then we have the diagnostic section wherein which we dig, dig deep into each of the errors which we have got so it, it describes at what location what was the error so summary of the error and uh, severity severity can be error or warning then detail so in detail it describes what was the error so the provide is not expected the provider is expected and uh, that error basically ranges from which location in the file line number 9 column 1 to line number 9 column 8 so this line is zero indexed and uh, because the line number 10 we have error and then snippet it goes more deep into uh, what exactly the code was code line was which gave you the error then the second error is similar to the above one so it has severity detail and the the actual location and the the code snippet which has caused the issue so this is how the validate command will give you the output in JSON format. So this was uh, related to validate command. Let's move to the format command. So let me correct it first. So this would be providers and this would be provider. I'll save it. And I'll try to validate it once. Okay, so the configuration is valid now. Then if say, if I change the formatting, so if say, if I don't give the indexing and, uh, okay. So in that case, uh, if I try to check FMT iPhone check. So it will check Okay, it's it doesn't output. Okay, I didn't save it. Uh, so it gives you the the file which has some errors. So formatting errors is there. So it, it it has checked that. And if I say what is the difference between an unformat the current configuration and the formatted uh, file? So hyphen diff would be used. So it will show you the uh, the differences. So uh, this would be the uh, so uh, the ind ind indentation is not there so it will it will provide an indentation to it and uh, uh, it will correct the formatting so let's format that so it has formatted as well so if you see here uh, earlier it was not there so let me yeah so format so it has indented it okay so this is how the formatting will work so check will check which all files will have formatting errors and diff will give you the difference between the formatted and unformatted uh, file and uh, also corrects the file so so this is how the terraform fmt works fmt command works so so terraform uh, follows some uh, style convention so uh, there's a link which I also mentioned in the PPT. So these are the style conventions which Terraform follows and it, it keeps on upgrading with every version it introduces. Uh, so any new conventions which comes in and uh, so you have to specify which format. So uh, the Terraform will specify which uh, format version it is uh, following while uh, uh, validating or formatting the uh, file okay so the you can go through it and uh, so it, it's pretty simple so yeah this was it uh, from this video so uh, this was a short demo of how validate and deformat command works so hope you like this video thanks for watching this video thank you